Alex Fonseca, no way. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Jabava London. Alex Fonseca, what the heck? I'm gonna play uh, the Naroditsky line now. Go bishop b3, go e4. This is one of my best scoring lines. Uh, okay, so he plays bishop e7, which I'm not super. Alex! I guess still e5 and queen e2. Wait, do I have knight h5? Knight e7, I imagine. Knight h5 is weird. If knight h5, yeah, okay, this is super weird. I guess I just keep the bishop. I'm out of book. I don't particularly get why people play like this, but. I'm actually wondering if knight e7 is a better move. I'm just gonna try to develop normally. Uh, rook e1, rook d1, rooks on central files, maybe g4. Okay, this. Cross uh, maneuver. And I'm playing with black pieces, pieces again. Is that a problem? I'll start rook e1 and then. I'll do the typical. I think he actually posted like another recap of his uh, second day. So yeah, I saw he, he right. like, he won against uh, good GM. That's like super risky strategically, like a bishop Like 25, after. 97 GM. Yeah, so I knew he can play that, but now it's kind of like a nice range you take with a pawn. That's impressive. Rook C8, so yeah, this is still not super clear. Yeah, it looks like I should be okay, because he can't can really take control of anything. Yeah. By the way, Nature 7 oh, nah. Yeah, that might be really bad. Maybe just King G2. Could be a move. Preparing that. A5. Alright, Alex. Should be fine. Maybe just Bishop G5. So, what do I have so here? Maybe some Queen B6. Maybe, yeah. Uh, Maybe Queen C6. The we point is my position is again very unpleasant. With this uh, line that's like not theory. Uh, it's really annoying that it's very unpleasant. Yeah. Because let's say queen of four yes. and I I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Yeah. And then take and then go g5 and try to say that my knights are dominating. Because for me it seems like I'm almost lost. Though it shouldn't be so that bad. Because bishop is fine, but. Uh, what the hell? Yeah, looks absolutely terrible. So look looks take, terrible. Like that, but I take NG5. If I play bishop c5, then this, this. Okay, this is something new. <laughs> I normally don't play uh, like this, but let's see. Oh my god, I'm in trouble again. I normally don't do this very often, but. Oh, yo, 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 yo. It's a fascinating position though, if my knights could just be better than his bishops. That'd be quite a... What if I go for some tricks? Quite a nice position, I'll squeeze. Like f6? So he still wants the same, but he plays for tricks. Okay, you don't get that. Boom. And now ideally I'd have a knight on g4. And then F6. I'm actually very so surprised right now. Open the file, but it probably will manage to freeze it with H5 because Ampasson is risky. Or why is it risky? I just take Ampasson, no? Okay, so he's gonna try this and H6. But so I assume his position is so dominant that. Um. What if I play H5? Do I ever have Rook C1 and I switch? Queen B6 takes takes and play. On and I just lock him up. Let's see H4. Okay, so he tries to freeze now. I could take, he takes with the rook. Because if, if he I doesn't like take... That, oh, yoy, yoy, yoy. I don't know how I'm going to make progress. Because... If I take and he takes with the rook... Yeah, I actually want to check yeah, how Alex is in the second, in the second ah, day. Ah, g5 is sexy. So, because if he doesn't take here, Wait, I so think I'm, I'm just Double better. Because he will need to bring his rook to f3, but then I'll protect. And Wait, his knights I'm are not as good as... I'm losing my team. You know, I wanted Wait. to remove Rook H6. This, this <laughs> but then I realized, good. like. No, but just. Okay. No, no, so this is good Never mind. <laughs> Rook H6. And I assume that what if I take now? We should be in good shape. 
because he has. Uh, well, probably sh I shouldn't take right. Oh wait, knight is six yeah. is also threatening. I should take right. I was playing for that. Okay, so now taking with the pawn simply. Queen f6 coming. Yeah. Okay, so queen f6 and then rook h1, I feel like should be gg, maybe I have rook c1 to double check. And my okay, question I now, the way. now I have if I'm in huge I trouble, I probably am. Yeah, king g8, knight e6. I probably uh, am, because rook h1. Okay, so I have to calculate d4. And then and there is some queen c5. Takes takes queen g6, queen h5, okay, that's like winning. I also have uh, simply this. And then... Uh, Oh no, wait. The trigger. Rook so H. Do this, and then take. And D4, just King G3. Yeah, so King G3. Hope I'm not missing anything. Okay, what do I have? What do I have? What do I have? Maybe it goes Rook H7, but Rook H1, yeah. Okay, so take. And take. Not worth to mess around. And now F4 should be good. Stop rook f3. So he wants queen d5, but he allowed queen trade, so this is lost. Yeah, okay. Yeah, guys, that was a really tough loss for myself. So Alex played Jabava London. He's now been practicing it. He is going to release the course in Jabava London. It's one of his projects, and I mean, good luck with that. So I assume he is analyzing few lines and it will be interesting for myself to check out his course. Uh, so here he is referring to this line as Narodzitsky line and I mean Daniel Narodzitsky, Alexander Bortnik are all played this against me. So E4 is played and now because I faced this position a lot of times and I kind of know what I have to do here. I play bishop 7 and Alex mentions that he is not familiar with this position and after e5 I played weird knight h5 instead of regular knight e7. I'm not sure why, but I think I played knight, BG, knight fg7 against Daniel or Bortnik. I think I was completely fine and, and I think I even won against Daniel Narodzicki once. But I played knight h5. I was like, I'll play just 6. If I trade this knight for this bishop, I should be completely fine. So bishop d2 is played just 6, bishop h6, rook e8. And as you can see, position is still alright for myself. Though soon I realized that this square on d4 will be so powerful. And I played knight d4. I tried to take this bishop and I mean... I took and after c takes d3, this knight is absolutely insane on d4 and my position is a lot worse. Because look at my bishop, it's just like a second pawn. Like, it's just like a regular pawn, it's just insanely bad and this knight blocks this d5. I mean, it would be in dream position if I get rid of this d5 pawn, but unfortunately I have it. I would be very happy to just sacrifice it for something. But unfortunately this knight on d4 blocks it and I have no way. And here queen f4 and now I start having a lot of troubles. Queen c7 takes. And here I decide to go for rook h8 and h5 because that's the only counterplay I have. So takes takes but I realized that this position is even worse. Should have, I mean, computer gives some rook h7 line, which is kinda insane, cause there is still this, but now computer says this. And rook h7, queen f6. And the point being, after I believe what I played, rook h5, uh, let's say if he goes for the same line, I play queen d8. I mean, still, I still think I'm completely lost. Because g takes f6, g takes h5, and king g3, king h4. But here, Alex, I mean, great move by him, knight to 6 And I have one check, and no more checks, takes. And my position is simply lost. Alex won a great game. 
But I hope to take revenge in the next games. I'll see you in the next videos. I hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.